What is going on you guys? Cameron here with another video. Uh, this video is going to show how to basically just communicate with the uh, the uh, shortcuts app on your iPhone or iPad and make it send data from, not really send data, but communicate from FileMaker Go to the Apple Shortcuts app. Uh, I'm going to start screen recording on my iPhone here. So uh, the database here on my screen on my computer matches the database on my uh, FileMaker Go 19 app. And what we're going to do is basically just create a basic uh, photo resizer uh, shortcut. And I understand that in FileMaker here, if you uh, create a script set like uh, take photo, for example, uh, you can, uh, let's see, insert, it's insert from device, and you can do a specify target and select which field. I want the camera, and you can do the front or back camera, and you have a full, large, medium, or small. Now, FileMaker didn't used to have this, and back in the day, you used to have to create some workarounds on this, um, which this is all great. This works for most people and it will work for almost for everybody but i mean to just give an example of how to communicate with filemaker pro oh i'm sorry filemaker go and the shortcuts app this is a little fun exercise just to get a little bit more dynamic maybe you are somebody that wants a specific photo size and not just this uh basically this idea of full large medium small and figuring out what this means maybe you want a uh perfect file size for your specific application and um, i know there's plugins out there that you can run plugins but then you have to add the plugins to your server and if you're someone that uses filemaker go on the iphone or ipad and you already have the shortcuts app we can use the tools that we already have available to us instead of having to download additional stuff so uh, before anyone tells me i understand that we have this re resize capability resolution built into filemaker uh, filemaker go and filemaker pro uh, but if you are someone that is looking for a 100 percent specific size of a photo then uh, this is the best way of going about doing it based off of the information that i know uh, because it's being modified elsewhere that makes no sense this open twice all right so what i did here is i have my database onto my server here resize photo shortcuts and what we're going to do here is this is going to be iphone portrait let's do something similar to this size let's close that all out and then we are going to have these fields so before you start is you need to make sure that your privilege i'm on my full access here so on full access i have allow urls to run filemaker scripts and that is checked and enabled and then i'm going to jump into my database here and um just the basic table filemaker starts me out i'm going to do a before photo and i'm going to do this as a container and create and then maybe an after photo maybe you uh, i've worked with a company where we had to take a before photo and then an after photo to prove the start of the job and then to prove the uh finish of the job okay so we're going to add this before photo here and then we're going to have this after photo And then we can do some, some design, I guess. Let's just do some designing. Blue, that looks cool. Give the title, resize photos. And this will be white. This white photo will be the before photo. 
and then in the before photo we have after photo and let's make this a little bit larger let's select both of these and then let's make it larger and larger which is good let's get this closer select select let's expand this across I want to make this a, a before photo of placeholder and then make this one an after photo placeholder so what we can do here is on my phone screen the screen recording stopped so let's get this going again all right so I'm going to exit layout and there we go we got this updated I'm going to select these and expand to the full width so there we go we got this basic uh, app on my phone here with FileMaker Go and what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to uh, select we want to be able to click on this container field and instead of getting the normal FileMaker Go dialog where you can do like a signature or you can do a photo, video, etc. I just want to go directly to my photo. And I know FileMaker allows you to do this by basic script set from the insert from the device, but what if we wanted to create a specific size photo in FileMaker? So what I would like to do is on my cell phone here, the, these are my shortcuts. This is in the shortcuts app. So at the top here, you can see the shortcuts logo and the shortcuts name. And I want to be able to open this up and then run a, a Surrey shortcuts or Apple shortcuts. And I want to name this shortcut before photo. Let's do some blue color in here to stay with the content. Let's do a camera done. And this before photo, we want to do is take a photo, one photo with the back camera. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to resize this photo. Let's say we wanted something uh, like, I don't even know, let's do like 300 width. And the, uh, the height is automatically. And then after we take that photo, let's just copy it to our clipboard. And then what we can use here is a uh, shortcut called FileMaker. FileMaker Go 19 has this Run FileMaker Go script. So after we've taken the photo, resize the photo, copy the photo to our clipboard, then I want to I want to uh, run a shortcut. I'm sorry, I'll run a script step in my database. So the very first script that we need to run in here is. Uh, let's delete this because we're not going to do that one. We want specific size photo. And we're going to do uh, a take photo. Let's do take before photo. And what this is going to just do is it's going to open a URL. And the URL here, let's click done here. I'm going to open this up. Open this up. Let me copy. I'm going to copy the name of my uh, shortcut and I have this run shortcut URL here which I can put in the description below with the file and uh, my name of my shortcut is before photo so this right here before the name of the shortcut is the shortcuts URL scheme this is telling the iPhone that I want to open this app and when I'm in this app I'm passing the parameter to shortcuts letting shortcuts know that I want to open uh, before photo mm, and it's not doing this because I need some quotations in here okay so that is it for this first script. I'm going to create a button with this before photo. I'm going to take the photo, which is great. And then after I've taken the photo, I need to create a, a paste a before photo. Since my uh, Shuri shortcut is copying the photo, copying it to my clipboard, then I just want to paste for my clipboard. That's all I need to do. So in here, I'm just going to 
uh, do the paste, go to target, before photo, and that is it. And then what I can do here is do a commit records so that I exit after that, um, after the paste has been completed. What I need to do now is this paste before photo. This is the script step that the Surrey shortcuts is going to run. So I need to allow Surrey shortcuts to have access to the script step. So I'm going to enable shortcuts donation. And you know the, the ones that have the Surrey shortcuts donation is the little microphone is right next to it. So um, I'm going to close this and then commit this. And then on my cell phone here, I'm going to go back to FileMaker Go 19. This is the same app and the before photo is now a button to run this specific script step. I'm sorry, shortcut. And then what we're going to do is we still need to add FileMaker Go, go to script. And the file we want is the shortcuts admin. Actually, that is not the correct one. Let's let's close this. Let's close this. We're going to open FileMaker. Let's see if this reboots itself. Resize photos. We need to get We need to get Surrey shortcuts up in here. And back into this script step, we need to select a specific file. There we go. So I just force quit everything uh, so that my uh, file that I'm in, which is the resize uh, photos shortcut, I need to, I'm sorry, that database, I need to be in that database on my server. I'm gonna run the script parameter. Since paste before photo is the only one that is considered able to select from, I'm gonna run that before photo script set. And I'm not gonna pass a parameter because I don't need to. I'm just gonna use the clipboard on my phone to run that uh, script step in FileMaker. So now, if I go back to FileMaker and if I click before photo, it's gonna run that script step and I'm gonna take a photo, I'm gonna use that photo. The shortcut app is running, resizing my photo, opening up FileMaker Go, and you can see there that it just pasted my photo into the before photos uh, field because it just ran the script after it came back to FileMaker Go. So there you have it. We have a basic shortcuts app with uh, between FileMaker Go and the shortcuts, and we can do it one more time using the uh, after photo field down here. So all we got to do is let's say we wanted the after photo to have a different size resolution. So we're going to go back to our script step and what we're going to do is we're just going to copy these scripts, paste them, and then I'm just going to rename instead of taking a before photo, we're going to take an after photo. And take after photo, we're going to paste the after photo as the URL. This will be called after photo. And let's select this. Changed that in the wrong location. Just gonna make this after photo. Save that and then paste after photo will just be in after. Alright, so we got these updated. Now on the cell phone here, all we gotta do is go to shortcuts. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this before one, we're gonna duplicate it. And then we are going to rename this one after photo. And I just pasted that from my MacBook. Click done, click done.
And let's say instead of the 300, let's say we want this to be like 680. And then it's going to do the same exact thing, but instead of running uh, the uh, paste before photo, we want to run the paste after photo script step. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to commit it on my computer here. Let's see if this actually shows up, which is not. We're going to click done. We're going to close that out. We're going to open up FileMaker Go back up. Then we're going to open the shortcuts app to see if this refreshes itself. And still has not refreshed. Let's see if we can get this refreshed up. Maybe if we just close that out, let's add it again. Still not showing up. This might take a little while through the server, maybe. Let's close this file out, run the shortcuts, scan my face. Maybe this committed the uh, change. There we go. We have paste after photo, and then we're going to click done. And then all we got to do left is on our computer here is the after photo. We're going to do a button setup. We're going to perform the script, take after photo, and then we are going to commit that change. So now if I click after photo, it's going to run the after photo script right here on my screen. You can see that before photo on my computer. We're going to use that photo. It's going to resize the photo open up FileMaker Go and paste that photo into the after photo uh, container field. So there you guys have it. This is how to communicate with uh, FileMaker Go to the shortcuts app and then from the shortcuts app back to FileMaker Go and then running a script step as soon as you get there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what content you are looking forward to seeing from me. Thanks guys.